Hey guys, this is our first hookah review ever. Um, I hope it goes well because we've never done it before. But my name is Cantu. This is my dear friend Pitt. And um, just to start off a little bit about us, I am in the Air Force and I'm shipping off soon. And in the meantime, I make longboards and smoke a lot of hookah. And uh, I'm Pitt, like you said, and uh, I'm a film student in college. And I also enjoy hookah a lot. And to get everything started off, our first flavor ever is Fumari Mint Chocolate Chill. This is one we've been smoking for a while and we've both really enjoyed it. Um, I hope we can clarify some of the questions you have about it before you smoke it. And I hope we hook you guys up with a pretty decent flavor. Just to start off with the cut, the cut of Fumari typically is a finer cut super juicy they come in these nice little plastic bags um, it's a thicker plastic it really seals in the flavor in my opinion um, they're really sticky it's the tobacco is very sticky so yeah it's a very juicy cut uh, when you're packing it you can definitely tell I mean it's way juicier than like Starbuzz or uh, Fantasia or Nakla or Tangiers it, it's I, I find it to be really juicy every time you get from Mari. And it's super, it's super fine diced. Yeah. Um, it's not dyed either. Uh, brands like Alpha Cur dye. Starbucks used to use dyes, but this is just a really natural molasses glycerin mix. Um, you can tell it's molasses by how sticky it is and how thick it is. It's very thick. The setup we have happening right now is a green Kalimba Moon traditional hose. Um, we have the Regal Malek, which I'm very excited to be smoking. We have our wind cover and two Cocoa Buzz coals on a Vortex. So for all you smokers out there who are experienced, um, even the ones that aren't, if you've ever seen from Mari, this is typical packaging, little black slip with the green and white writing. Um, as far as smell goes, To me, I mean, if you've ever been to an Italian restaurant or uh, a, a lot of restaurants that give those Andes mints out, that's exactly what it smells like. It's, it's a really nice blend, I think. Um, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate flavors, but it smells, it smells really good, actually. And this really, this brings me back to my childhood. Um, I don't know if anyone's been to Chicago. The Macy's in Chicago, which used to be Marshall Fields, sell these little chocolate mint candies and it smells just like those candies and I love it I really really love it even though I don't like mint chocolate flavors that much but I think, I think they did a real good job on the blend yeah Fumari has quickly become one of my favorite brands as well and I gave my friend Pitt a lot of crap about it but he ended up buying the Fumari whole poker and I've it's growing on me. It's growing on you. It's growing. Yeah, it's a good investment. It's just handy. A little thing that speeds up the process of getting it ready. Past the, um, past how it smells, it smokes very well. Oh, yeah. The clouds that come out of it are very nice. Um, super consistent smoke yeah. as well. It's, yeah. It is different from, like, a, a foolproof tobacco like Starbuzz. It requires little bit of practice just a little bit like one or two bowls before you get it just right with the heat management yeah it's it it can be heat sensitive you definitely do have to be careful but um it's a great flavor and it seems to it seems to get stronger throughout the bowl and if you manage it right you're gonna get consistent clouds throughout i mean they're, they're thick clouds Hugh, they're 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 pretty big <laughs> now on to the flavor um i don't like I shouldn't say I don't like chocolate flavors. I've had chocolate flavors in the past that weren't up to my standards. Um, this, the, the, the chocolate flavor in this blend is absolutely delicious. I think it's as close to a chocolate as you can get from a coating on tobacco. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I'd say from my experience, I mean, chocolate flavors out there really suck, actually, and uh, it's it's pretty spot on, man. I, I've been pretty impressed with that, and I'm not a big chocolate chisha fan either. Um, and the mint note is, 
is powerful enough to be really enjoying and cooling, but it's not it's not so powerful that it overpowers the chocolate. It's a really good blend. For you, for you mint guys out there, I've smoked a lot of mint because I'm a big mint fan, and this is definitely a mint that I'm going to be coming back to. Um, it's a really nice spearmint, really, really nice spearmint, obviously, for the chocolate mint combo. Um, and it really does a good job of cooling the lungs, if you know what I'm talking about. And it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it, like, honestly, I know I said it, it smelled like it, but really, if you taste it, it literally tastes like you bite into one of those Andes mints you get at a restaurant. But it also has the cooling effect throughout your lungs and, and your throat, and that's really nice. Um, this is quickly became, I mean, we just, for me at least, I just started with Fermari, and uh, this is one of my favorite flavors so far. I mean, we've done spice chai, blueberry muffin. Ambrosia, um, white gummy bear. I can't, I can't speak to Cantu, but I mean, for me, this is my favorite, my favorite of the Fermari line so far. I mean, I haven't tried all of them, but um, it's, it's a great, it's a great mix. Yeah. Um, I think they're, for me personally, completely honestly, there are flavors out there that I would, I, I shouldn't say rather smoke than this, but if I had the option, I think I would pick like a spiced chai over this because I'm a huge, huge chai guy and it's such a unique flavor, but Fumari in itself is unique from the rest of the tobacco, you know, the tobacco game, the shisha game. and. Especially for the first time smoking Fumari. With the heat management issue I mentioned earlier, it's not tough to nail it, but if you get it wrong, the cooling of this mint isn't is, is forgiving. It's not so hard on you if you burn it. I would say I would say overall this this flavor so far from Fumari I think is the most forgiving just because of that mint. Um, I would say if you're an amateur or maybe not an amateur but a, a newer smoker um, and you've been smoking stuff like Star Buzz and other stuff that really doesn't require a whole lot of heat management. Um, I would, I would definitely recommend trying it, but just be patient with it. It does take some, uh, some getting used to as far as heat management goes. And that also makes it interesting for the intermediate to veteran smokers. You can pack this up if you know what you're doing and sit back and enjoy a, a solid two hours, maybe three, depending on the bowl. And it's really, it's perfect. It's hot in this little room because it's summertime, but this is really hitting the spot right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good summer flavor. I think as summer approaches um, and it starts to get warmer, which it is here at least, um, it'll definitely be one that I keep, a flavor I keep in stock on hand because um, it's just nice and refreshing on those hot days, these humid days like today. So Yeah, definitely. So as far as the buzz goes, I mean, we're, we're both pretty avid, avid smokers. We've been smoking for years now. Um, we don't buzz as much as maybe an amateur smoker would or, or a new, newer smoker. Um, but it definitely does give a little bit of a buzz. It's a nice subtle buzz. Um, just kind of relaxes you. Um, I think maybe a new smoker would get a nice buzz off of it. Yeah, definitely. And um, I mean, exactly like Pitt said, it really just relaxes you into the smoke session. Um, you don't. It's not a lightheaded buzz. It's not like a ah, I don't like this buzz buzz. It's a really relaxing buzz. I think I think the the subtle buzz definitely complements the cooling nicely. It definitely relaxes you while you're smoking, and with the cooling too, it's just it's a really pleasant smoke, especially in the summer. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching our first review. Uh, more to come. Um, if there's anything you'd like us to review, let us know. Um, as far as rating on the Mint Chocolate Chill, I, I personally, I would give it a 9 to a 9.5, uh, which is pretty generous to me. I usually don't give flavors close to a 10. Um, the only reason I would dock this flavor from not being a perfect 10 out of 10 is just the fact that it is a little heat sensitive, um, especially for newer smokers, and also it's kind of a seasonal smoke. I don't think we would smoke this year round. It's more of a summer flavor. That's the the vibe I was feeling as well. It's pretty seasonal, but for me, not being a mint chocolate chip guy at all, I would rate this a seven to a seven point five, especially right now in the summer heat. Um, it's 
It's really good. It's really good. Really good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, look forward to new videos soon. Um, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Rate it. Rate it, rate it, rate it. And I'm Cantu. And I'm Pitt. See you later, guys. See you.